This video is the answer sheet to Sudoku Primer video number 111. If you haven't already seen video 111, I would recommend that you uh, go there and, and watch that one. Uh, video 111 is a pop quiz, which means that uh, I just fill in numbers without making comments, and you try to follow along and see if you can understand why each number is placed where it is. And then this is the answer sheet for that video. I'm going to go through in the same order um, and fill in numbers and explain why each number is placed where it is. Before I do that, I want to show you a new book that's available. You can get this book as a gift for uh, people that you know that are what I call computer people. This is a Sudoku for Computer People. It's a, it's a new book that uh, is, is made for people that think a little bit, bit different than most people software and hardware engineers in the computer industry count differently than other people and uh, I should know because I'm a software engineer have been for many years and uh, this book has Sudoku puzzles in it uh, for, with four different levels easy medium hard and expert and they're different uh, because they're s set up the way uh, computer people uh, count or use numbers. It's a tongue-in-cheek uh, way for computer people to be able to do Sudoku easier because they may struggle with regular Sudoku puzzles since they uh, count differently. Well, you can uh, go to sudokuprimer.com and skip more information about this book. Uh, just go there and uh, there's a page with the book on it and gives you more information about it. Well, let's get started. I'm going to, uh, first of all, fill in a couple of numbers here that are very obvious and easy to, to get. And I'm not even going to explain them because I'm sure that they'll be pretty easy to see why they are the numbers that I've placed and then uh, this seven right here uh, at first glance you think well a seven could be in either one of these cells but if you notice there's a one and a five in this row and a one and a five in this column and therefore we have one five twins here so this can't be a 7, since they're 1, 5 twins. These two cells are 1, 5 twins. So I can place that 7 there. Uh, now I can finish all the 7s, and it's pretty straightforward how I do that. Yeah, I think I got all sevens now. Seven, 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 seven. Okay. okay. Eight there. Now that one's not quite as obvious. We've got an 8 here and an 8 here. It could be either one of these two, but we do have ghost 8s right here. Because we've got an 8 here and an 8 there. So we have ghost 8s there, and so therefore that can't be an 8. Okay, so that's an 8 there. And then 
see, we know this is an 8 here because we got an 8 here and a wall here, so we know one of these has to be an 8. So we have ghost 8s there, so I fill that in. But then uh, you notice we've got 8s here, so we couldn't we can put an 8 right here. These threes, these two threes I'm putting in are pretty obvious, quite obvious actually. So. All right, now I'm going to uh, place another number. Now this one is quite tricky. I'm going to put a four right there. And at first glance, you can't see why that could be a 4. Any of these 4 could be a 4 here. Now this one takes uh, several steps to get to. Okay, I put that 4 in there to show that that's a 4 and that's the next number that was placed in the pop quiz. Now let's see how we got that. First of all we've got in row 8 here we've got all the numbers except for 3 and 4 here. Okay, and therefore, since these are three four twins, we have two nine twins here. Okay, so we have since we have the the ghost nines here, a nine could fit in one of these three places right here. But you remember we had one five twins here, so that can't be a nine. So a nine has to be in column one in this box. A 9 is in column 3 in this box. We got a 9 here, so one of these two is a 9. Okay, so far we can't place any numbers, but uh, we've got a little bit more information about the puzzle. Now let's look at this row right here. I filled this 4 in, but before I fill this 4 in, let's look and see what numbers are missing here. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, nine two four five six and nine are missing here so let's look at this cell right here we've got a two four five six and nine two six and nine right there but we just remember that these are ghost nines here so that's going to be a two or a six and we happen to have ghost or i mean uh, twins right here two six twins so therefore, we know these are two six twins. Okay. And what did we have in here? We had two four five six nine, and so the two sixes are two and six are take, taken care of. We have three empty cells left. They're four five and nine, right here. We don't see four five or a nine anywhere here, so that's four five nine. We don't see a 459 here, so that's 45 or 9. And same with this one, we're missing 45 and 9. Okay, we still don't know how we got that 4 here, but I know that's the right number. Okay, well, let's look a little closer. We've got a 9 here, so we know one of these is a 9, so that can't be a 9, so it's a 4 or a 5. Okay. And then we've got a 5 here and fives here so one of those is a five and one of these is a five in these two boxes and that using double column elimination we know that fives are taken care of in this box and in this box and the only place a five can be in this box is in this column there's a five here so we know a five can either fit here or here and those are the only two places a five can fit so this um, can't be a 9, so we have 4, 5, 9 here. It can't be a 9 because of the ghost 9's here. And it can't be a 5 because of the 5's right here and here. So we know that's a 4. So that took several steps to find. First we found these 3, 4 twins. That's step 1. 2, 9 twins. Step 2. Uh, nines limited here because of the 
are constrained here because of the 1, 5 twins at step 3. Then we found the 2, 6 twins at step 4. And then we had to find the, we had to, we saw that 4, 5, and 9 are the remaining numbers here. Um, and step 5 was we eliminated the 9 with these ghost 9s. And step 6 was we eliminated the 5s because one of these has to be a 5. One of these has to be a 5. One of these has to be a 5. So it took six different um, techniques or steps in order to uh, narrow that down to a 4. But now that we've narrowed that down to a 4, we know this is a 4 because we have ghost 4s here. We've got a 4 here, ghost 4s here. So we know that's a 4. It's the only um, place a 4 can fit in this column. Uh, we also notice that a 4 can't fit here, so it has to fit there. Okay. And with that 4, we can place this 4 here. That's pretty straightforward again. And now we have a, in the pop quiz, I put a 5 right there. Now one of these could be a 5. Either one of these two could be a 5. So how do I know that's a 5 right there? Well, let's look at this column right here. We've got a 1 right here. So we know one of these is a 1. We've got a 2 here, so we know one of these is a 2. So we have 1, 2 twins here. And the only numbers left are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5, 6, and 9. And there's a 6 and there's a 9, so we know that's a 5. Okay, so now we've got 1, 2 twins here, 6, 9 twins here. There's a 6 there, so we know that's a 6, and that's a 9. Okay, okay now we've only got two numbers left here. Uh, 1 and a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's a 6 there, so we know that's a 1 and that's a 6. We've only got two numbers left in this column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 2 and 3, there's a 2 there. So we know that's a 2 and that's a 3. Okay. That leaves that is the only place for a 2 in box 3. Now we only have two numbers left here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 4 and 5. We've got a 5 there. And now with this 5 here, we can fill in these 1, 5 twins that we had here. We've got a 5 there, so we know that's a 1 and that's a 5. Now we can fill in a 5 here. That one's pretty straightforward. Okay. okay. Now we put a 6 in. Let's see. In box 6 right there. That's because we know that 5, 6, and 9 are the remaining numbers here, these triplets. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've got a 5 and a 9 there, so we know that's a 6. Uh, we've got a 5 here and a 5 here, so we know that's a 5. And that's a 9. All right, now we've got a 9 here and a 9 here. So one of these two is a 9 right there. We know it's that one because we, you remember we had ghost 9s here and ghost 9s here. So that has to be the 9 right there in, that, in box 4. Okay, now there's 4 is the only place... That's the only place a 4 can go in this box now. 
four, four, four. And we fill in this one. It's the only number left in this row. Now we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six and nine left in this box. Box two, there's a six there. So we know that's a nine and that's a six. Okay, with the nine and nine here, we know that's a nine. Okay. All right, now we place a one in box eight. That one's straightforward. Uh, now we have a two and nine left in box eight right here. There's a nine there, so we know that's a two. And that's a 9. Uh, you remember our two 9 twins in box 7 here. And there's a 2 there, so we know that's a 9 now. And that's a 2. And now we have these two 6 twins. We've got a 2 there, so we know that's a 6. And that's a 2. And because of the 6, we had these two 6 twins here. We know that's a 2 right there. We only have two numbers left here, 1 and 2. There's a 2 there. That's a 2 and that's a 1. All right. Now we have a, a 1 right here in box 1. Straightforward. We've got a 1 there. And a one there and one there. And we got a four here. Now that's that's a four because we only have three and four left, and we've got a three there. Okay, so we know that's four goes in box four right there. And now we can fill in our three four twins that we found uh, much earlier in the puzzle. We've got a four there, so we have a three and a four there. Now we've got um, right here, the only two numbers we have left are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, and 8. And we've got a, a 6 right here, so we know that's a 6 and that's an 8. We have a 3 and 8 missing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've got an 8 there, so we know that's a 8 there and a 3 there. And then we've only got one number left, and that's a 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 3 goes there, and that's it. And we've completed the, the puzzle. All right. So that wasn't too bad. It got a little bit tricky there in the middle when we placed this four. And then when we found this five right here. Uh, but uh, for the most part, it was a fairly straightforward puzzle, not too difficult. But there were a couple. There was that one point where we got a little bit stuck until we had to use a, a series of techniques or a combination of techniques to fill in that four and find that four right there. Well, thank you for watching. And again, just as a reminder, uh, to find out more about the uh, Sudoku for Computer People book that you can get. As gift, as gift for pe for people you may know that are in the computer industry, uh, go to the SudokuPrimer.com website and check it out. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.